Hi guys, I'm the Olamide and you're welcome back to Updates Niger. Kindly subscribe, turn on the notification. Concerning the recent attack on Olu in Imo State, well, there has been a whole lot of outcry on the social media and even in Nigeria at large as the indigenous people of Biafra has you know, made it known to the federal government that the federal government has declared war on them. Well, let's note that earlier this week, there has been a lot of surveillance by the men of the Nigerian army on Olu, a part of Imo State. Well, the indigenous people of Biafra, the IPOB, says the federal government has declared war on the people of Southeast by its military operation in Olu, Imo State. Well, it was reported that a military bombardment in Olu on Thursday, which was targeted at the camp of the IPOB established Eastern Security Network, the ESN. Well, Mazichika Edoziem, the head of Directorate of State of the IPOB, in a statement in reaction to the airstrikes, said IPOB worldwide must now greet their loins and be prepared for the long drawn out battle ahead of them. Well, he said, and I quote, the Nigerian government through its military has finally declared open confrontation with the Biafran people in their bid to harass, intimidate, and cow them into submission to relinquish our ancestral lands to foreign Fulani terrorists, he said. The IPOB reiterated its vows to that no inch of Biafran land, that is the Biafran territory, will be ceded to the Fulani headsmen. The Nigerian army has thrown the gauntlet and we the indigenous people of Biafra shall accept their challenge before, because there will neither be retreat nor surrender on this our journey to liberty and freedom. Now that the Nigerian government has activated its final solution to the Biafran question with helicopter gunship in Olu, they have crossed the line of no return and for us the indigenous people of Biafra, there is only one option that is open for us. The IPOB said it must defend every inch of Biafran territory and will defend their inalienable right to live in the land of their forefathers as free people. He called on members of the group to be very conscious of the current situation of things and wait for directive from their leader, Nnam Dikanu. Meanwhile, Imo Governor Hope Uzodima has justified the Nigerian military operation against indigenous people of Biafra IPOB in some parts of Olu Imo State. Uzodima vowed that his administration would not yield to pressure from those calling for for withdrawal of soldiers. The governor said he invited the soldiers in Olu to restore calm in the area after members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, killed policemen and citizens. Well, this actually is no news anymore as the people of the Southeast have been agitating for the freedom of Biafra. They want the Biafrans to, you know, secede from Nigeria and form their own Biafra nation. So now the IPOB representative as you know give give their verdict about this they've said what's on their mind and given their own words about the alleged bombardment of the eastern part of the country you know on Thursday there was an airstrike in Olu it was reported earlier this week that the men of the Nigerian army has been making rounds of um coming in the eastern part of Nigeria in search of the operatives of the Eastern Security Network. Well, the Eastern Security Network was organized by the IPOB as the military arm of the indigenous people of Biafra in order to look out for several loopholes in terms of Fulani headsmen encroachment into the east. And the governor of the state, the, that is the governor of Imo state, has said that he would not in any way relinquish his power and his might in fighting the men of the IPOB, that the men of the IPOB has killed several policemen and unarmed citizens. Well, this is actually turning out to be something different, something we never anticipated. But as we look out for events that will unfold after this, guys, I promise to keep you guys updated. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, and also comment. Let us know how you feel. Till next time, stay tuned. This is Updates Niger, the Olamide on the mic.